who wouldn't be reminded of our solar system when one looks at this 1976 abstract painting of Nena Sagil. The swirl in the middle could represent the sun and the dark circles around it, the planets in their orbits. The spiral at the top in the one o'clock position looks like another planetary system or even another galaxy. I am also reminded of the debate that went on for centuries on the view of the world, on whether the earth or the sun was at the center of the world, and the astonishing ways the debate was resolved through careful observation, logic, and accurate predictions. Can you imagine this? The Greeks had no telescopes or satellites 2,200 years ago, but they were able to surmise the round shape of the earth and its circumference just from shadows. They knew the earth was round when they noticed that the shadow of the earth on the moon during a lunar eclipse was round. They estimated the circumference of the earth from the shadow of the same stick observed at high noon on two different locations, and then some trigonometry. If you imagine yourself as living in the early centuries, and day after day you see the sun rise in the east and set in the west, and night after night you see the stars moving above the earth, you would indeed think the earth is at the center of the universe. Add to the mix, powerful religion that supported the earth-centered view as divine and threatened the opposition with excommunication, and you can understand why support for the sun-centered view was suppressed for many centuries. But then, in the 1500s, when the telescope was invented and pointed up in the heavens, so many misconceptions were corrected. People thought sunspots were planets because they appeared to pass across the sun. But Galileo Galilei saw that the sunspots change shape, so they cannot be planets. People thought only Earth had a moon, but Galileo saw that Jupiter had several moons revolving around it. He also observed the faces of Venus, much like how the faces of the moon appear. All these support the model that planets move around the sun and moons move around other planets. Johannes Kepler published his three laws of planetary motion based on extensive data on the position of planets through time. And in the 1600s, Isaac Newton's three laws of motion and law of gravitation helped further explain why planets move the way they do. And from there, so many phenomena started making sense and numerical predictions about periods of planets and the coming of the tides, among others, became fairly accurate. This triumph of thought and logic took centuries in the making and debunked once and for all the Earth-centered view of the world. In 300 plus years since then, we've used that knowledge to launch rockets into space, to deploy satellites, to reach the moon, and maybe pretty soon Mars. I do not know if Nena Sagil intended this painting to look like the solar system, but to me it does, and it evokes a feeling of wonder and delight over how we came to know how the sun and the planets interact.